Hello everyone, this is Contro from Contro Sewing and this video series is going to be all about basics of sewing. So in this video tutorial I'll be showing you how to make a MOLLE panel. MOLLE stands for Modular Lightweight Load Carrying Equipment and it is derived from pulse webbing. It is used by British, NATO and US military. MOLLE allows for various compatible accessories and pouches to be attached on to do backpacks or uh, various panels. So, let's start sewing. Alright, now for the molly panel, what we want to do first is find our middle points. Okay, like so. Draw a line lightly, like so. You don't want to ruin your canvas. The next thing is adding. The next thing is adding webbing. Now that we've cut out our webbing. We want to place it, but not on the top. We want to skip one, like so. So this is the place where our first tape is going. So let's fold that in half, like so. Before we do that, we want to burn the ends to stop them from unraveling. That's really annoying. Alright, so place it under the sewing foot, place one part from the starting point and fold another one in half like so. So we are skipping two and a half centimeters from the top of the canvas and this is our starting point like so. We are going to sew it three times one time down, one up and another time down. So, like so. Now when we get to the end, we want to use this part of the tape as a, as a guideline for how much space we need from one tape to another. We need to skip two and a half centimeters. Place the needle down, fold this in half like so, place it exactly to the needle like so and do another round down. Alright, now for the side parts, we want to place another part of the, of the um, webbing in between so we have exactly the right space so we avoid webbings wobbling up and down while we sew them and we do another stitch on the sides if you're wondering why we are doing just one stitch that's because when you start sewing your bag together you're going to sew here a few times, maybe one or two, or depends what you are sewing. So one time is just enough for this part. So let's do that to the other side as well. Trying to be as accurate as we can. Okay, so this is the first part of it. And now on to the second one. 
now that we have determined uh, the guidelines for the tape we are going to take the we are going to make the straps which are going to be interwoven into the pulse webbing panel okay so I'm folding this on the top which is going on the top of the panel like so determining the height I want it to stick uh, a bit from the bottom like so and so this is going to be my strap okay so this is the measurement I'll be taking two of these use the lighter to light this light the ends up to keep them from unraveling all right now before we start sewing these onto the panel we need to do two other things we need to sew velcro here and onto the straps now there are a few ways you can do this you can put your velcro like so exactly in the line of your uh, strap like so you can do that that's okay this type of placing it is more um, versatile because you can uh, you can move the bottom of the strap around okay so I'm going to use this much Now to be to be a bit accurate, we are going to add one and a half centimeters from the bottom from both sides. And this is our guideline. Place it under the sewing foot and do a box shape and cross shape stitch Right now that that thing is done, next thing is sewing the, oh by the way, we've sewn the uh, female part of the velcro onto the panel and we're going to sew the male type of the, of the velcro onto the webbing. Now to determine the amount of the velcro we need for this, so like we said like I said at the start we're going to uh, fold this top like so and fold this as well fold this as well like so so we we're going to use maybe 
5 cm of velcro, like so. It's a bit of uh, eyeballing it, but when you get the hang of it, you don't need to measure everything. We're going to fold this in half and cut it because it's exactly five centimeters in its length and two and a half centimeters is the length of the it's the width of the webbing. So we are going to do box shape stitch onto the onto the velcro onto the webbing like so box shape and cross shape stitch Okay, use the lighter to burn the excess thread. Now do the exact same thing for the other one. Uh, to do it correctly, you can use the other one as a guide. Like so, fold it like so, and determine, and just copy it, it will be the best and easiest way to do it. Another box and cross shape stitch. Alright, time to sew these straps onto the onto the panel. Now uh, the most easiest thing to do is place it place the top part in these two places but since you might be using a bit of uh, weight in your pouches the best way to do it the way I'm doing it is to use the far end of the of the panel like so like this and just sew it a few times three might be okay like so do this exactly with the other part Cut the excess thread. Let's 
So, this is your Molly Pen. Pretty versatile thing to have. Looks great. So, I hope you like what you've seen here. Comment below and let me know. Subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. Also, I made a Patreon account so you can go and support me there if you like what I'm doing. I'll put the links in the description below. I hope you learned something from me today and you keep learning. Thank you for watching and I'll be seeing you in the next tutorial.